Yes, good evening. A lot of big changes when it comes to vaccination mandates, including the fact that Culver City Unified School District is now requiring all of its students to be vaccinated by November to attend in-person classes. It's the first mandate of its kind in the state. Culver City Unified School District now requiring all eligible students to be vaccinated by November 19th. Culver City residents are already reacting to the news. I think it's good for the community, to be quite honest with you. It allows kids to be able to go back to school in a safe environment. Eligible students include any student 12 and older without religious or health exemptions. The Culver City Unified School District hopes the vaccines will have received full FDA approval by the district's November 19th deadline. It also gives parents um, a peace of mind knowing that their children will be attending classes in an environment that's going to be safe for them. The LA City Council is also implementing a new mandate for the city. Council members voted to require vaccinations for all city employees who don't have an exemption by September 7th. Previously, city employees were required to either be vaccinated or undergo weekly testing. Testing is now not an option at all. Council President Nuri Martinez explains why. We cannot expect our city residents to get vaccinated if we're not setting the example. We've got to lead in this effort to ensure that we're not only protecting ourselves, we're protecting our families, but we're also protecting those we come in contact with when we're providing community services. The next mandate goes a step further, impacting everyone in California. The State Department of Public Health announced you will need to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test within 72 hours before for attending any big indoor event in the state. A big event is considered any indoor gathering with more than 1,000 people. Doctors say the Delta variant rise in cases is to blame. It's kind of both sad and necessary. Um, we are seeing a, a spike in cases. It's not like anything like the surge previously, but we certainly want to prevent that. Dr. Luz Palmisano says vaccination mandates will likely become more common throughout the pandemic. These kind of things are going to be required. Just glad it's nothing super serious like last time where we had to shut everything down. And these three mandates go into effect in September and November. And the idea behind it is to make sure that people have enough time to get both doses of their vaccinations. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.